The AIDS Connection is a production of Conus Communications. It's being produced in cooperation with this station and 124 other local television stations across America. This is the AIDS Connection, an all-night dialogue live from across America. I'm John Henry. And I'm Renee Poussaint. In this segment, we will talk about the global dimension of AIDS and its impact on the United States. AIDS is spreading worldwide, but how great is the threat? Should we close our borders? We'll hear opinions from people all around the country. So obviously AIDS is an international problem, but what are other countries doing about the disease? How is America dealing with foreign AIDS? I've also asked HHS to add the AIDS virus to the list of contagious diseases for which immigrants and aliens seeking permanent residence in the United States can be denied entry. They are presently denied entry for other contagious diseases. Dr. Fauci, do you see a pattern in the spread of AIDS worldwide? Well, the pattern is that it's clearly being established as a worldwide epidemic. The individual countries that are involved now, there are uh, approximately 115 countries in which the, uh, the disease has been reported in. The WHO has reports that there's approximately 10 million uh, infected individuals uh, in the world. It's probably closer to 30 or 40 million. Ms. Chavez, as a former Reagan administration staff member, how do you view our current immigration policy on AIDS? Well, there is no absolute right to immigrate to the United States, and the government does have the right to deny people entry for a variety of reasons, and AIDS has now been added to that. I think, unfortunately, it's probably a little bit uh, emphasis in the wrong direction. Frankly, in terms of, of immigration, uh, American citizens probably uh, risk discrimination in the future from other countries not letting in Americans because we have more cases of AIDS here than, than other countries do. Interesting idea, and probably very true. I'm wondering about American citizens traveling over abroad, extensively traveling. Uh, what are they bringing back here? And how are we going to check that out? Could you be more specific about what are you concerned about? What are you worried that uh, they're bringing back? Uh, the virus. Well, one yeah. of the problems is we're in a high-risk area right here. I think, you know, when we talk about immigration policies, the only thing I can figure is the State Department feels it's better to give than receive. <laughs> because we have given AIDS to many, many people around the world, either through sexual contact or through blood products that we have exported. Mm -hmm. I think one of the problems when we get into this, is it was sort of alluded to, you're going to start having walls going up. Okay, I was wondering, um, I'm a student here at David Lipscomb College, but I'm from Florida. I was wondering if anything has been done about the illegal aliens coming across from Mexico and people coming across from Haiti as to whether or not we're going to strengthen the number we're allowing in or how we're going to control that. You, I, I think you, you misspoke when you said strengthen the number or you want to limit the number of, of limit. immigrants. Okay. He wants to limit the number of immigrants coming across well, the border. That's not an AIDS question. We've been, we've been trying to, to limit illegal immigration to this country for uh, the all of this century and we've tried different means. We've just passed a new law to, to uh, impose sanctions against employers who hire illegal aliens. Uh, we've never been able to solve the problem uh, of illegal immigration. We have a very long border with Mexico. Uh, but I don't think that we should assume that because illegal immigrants are coming into this country, that because they're illegal, they're any more likely uh, to be AIDS carriers than someone who comes here legally. I, I want to I check with him. W is that your assumption? W was that your assumption that, that these immigrants coming across the borders from Mexico and Haiti are in fact more likely to be infected with AIDS? Uh, no, I just figure that with this being the number of illegal aliens coming across that we're not having a way to find out whether or not there are more or less and we need to limit or find a way to try to stop or strengthen our protection on our borders. You know, I think it's sad that we keep looking outside, we should look within and deal with our problems here instead of trying to blame somewhere else. Although we're talking about uh, the global spread of AIDS, uh, the question keeps coming to my mind is all of the topics that we've talked about is, you are experts and I have read, I happen to be a registered nurse, has, have read quite a bit on this subject. And other experts disagree with you 
And my question is, how do you know who to believe and what to believe and on what part of this whole process? Uh, how do I make a decision when you, as experts, disagree? Well, you know, I, I think it depends on what you mean by disagreeing. I think that if you look at people who have any experience and looked at the data, overwhelmingly they will tell you that it is not spread by casual contact. And what we're seeing here in these polls with the quarantine answer, the, uh, the answer with regard to casual contact or what have you, is a skepticism about that. But I don't think there is very much disagreement among experts, at least experts who, who, who are informed experts, that in fact there is not casual contact. I know of no good researcher anywhere in the world who disagrees with the statements that we have been making. I think one of the problems we get into, and, and it was, I think, uh, John, you, you came up with some of that at the time, and that is uh, how do people understand, and we have to look at relative risk, when nothing is absolute and people want absolutes and there just aren't any absolutes today. Well, there's one absolute right now. We've got to get over to Renee and get out <laughs> of this segment. Absolutely. <laughs> this is the AIDS Connection and the dialogue continues. I'm absolutely finished. There's a reason people whisper when they tell you a rumor. It's because nine times out of ten, it's not true. Take all the rumors about AIDS. People are saying you can catch AIDS from a mosquito bite or in swimming pools. The fact is, there isn't a single case of AIDS on record caused by casual contact. It's up to you. You can believe the rumors, or you can get the facts. Rumors are spreading faster than AIDS. For more information, write the American Red Cross.